Hi, this is Sam at shrimpandfishflorida.com. Today we're going to attach G4 high test uh, 5 16 anchor chain to 5 8 3 strand anchor rope. And to do it, um, there's a process. So the anchor line will pull into the windlass without getting stuck, plus secure your boat down. And to do it, what we're going to do, uh, the tools we're going to need are a, a lighter, a marker, scissors, a needle nose, a ruler, and some tape. That's about it. What we're going to do is take the marker, take your ruler, and measure out uh, 24 inches. You could go longer if you like, but 24 should do it. Once you mark that, you're going to take some tape and you're going to go ahead and secure the anchor line right at that mark. That way the mark is at the end of the tape. The reason for this is when you go ahead and untwine it, you don't want it to go any further than where that mark is. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip this over like this so later on I can peel it off. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and secure it like that. Now. Um, we can go ahead and do away with the ruler. Next thing we're going to do is take the end over here and we're going to go ahead and peel it. It comes from the manufacturer uh, burnt. So we're just going to go ahead and peel it some. We don't really want to cut that off because we want it secured. So just bring it down to the, the melted area and snip it so it doesn't un unravel. And we're going to do the same thing with the other one. Just kind of peel it to where you think you can get a bite on it. This one's done pretty good. Put your fingers in there and give it a snip. There you go. At least they're secured and it's not going to unravel when we're working with it. Now you just want to go ahead and <clears throat> unwind all your strands all the way down. Okay, now we've got our strands unwound all the way down. What we're going to do is we're going to tape off these ends. Now, we're not taping them so they don't unravel, but if you cut it, that's why you would tape it. Right now, we're just going to tape it so we can work with it. In other words, I'm going to put tape on the end. And feed it back the other way. Okay, this, this tape is going to serve as a purpose. It's going to be like a needle. Later on, we could thread it through. Once we get all three of those done, we're going to mark them, uh, this being number one. So we're going to put one stripe all the way around like that. Then we're going to go ahead and take this one, uh, you know, blue tape. I'll do that in a second. We're going to take this and put two stripes all the way around okay that's two stripes and now we're going to take this one and put three stripes here's one two three and we're just going to do that all the way around The reason for the stripes is so when you're working with them, you can notice that's number one, two, and three real easily. And we'll finish up with the tape over here. Notice I'm going past the tip because I want it to be needle-like, pointy. And then I wrap it down and around. Like I said, the only thing this can do is help when you're pushing it through.
Now you could also mark these, you know, here's one, here's two, and three. Give them three stripes too. And put a little bit more on this third one. And I'll mark this number two over here. One, two, on both sides. One, two, and I'll give this three. One, two, three, and this is still number one. We'll come around with it. Okay, now we've got everything marked. We're going to go ahead and put it through the anchor chain. To do that, we'll just bring the anchor chain down. Bring this up. And we're going to sort these out. What I'm doing here, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put number, number three to the outside, number two in the center, and number one to the left. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the number two, this one here, the center one, and we're going to bring it through the chain and we're going to pull it out sideways so it will look like this here crossed over hope you can see that on the video then what we're going to do is we're going to take number three over here and we're going to come across the other way like this so what that's doing, it's making a cross so you got the, the line going in two different directions. We're going to take number one here and we're going to feed it through in the same direction. Okay. So, we've got two going one way, one going that way, all three are through the chain link. Then we're going to go ahead and tighten them up. One, as you do in the process, you want everything to be tight and secure. Some people leave this loose here. I like to cinch it down snug. Why have a loose fit? Okay, that's about it. Now I'm going to shut the video off because I'm going to have to turn this all over and work in the opposite direction. Okay, I went ahead and now I have the rope facing away from me and I have the chain facing down towards me so I could work with it. I have number two to my right and I have number one all the way to the left and I have three uh, towards the main rope. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take number two right here and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna look for this one right here gonna undo this don't really need that on there anymore because we have it tightened down so what I want to do is I want to go over this one and under this one right now. Notice this, this one goes over. Um, you want this to go over that and through this first loop and you're going to pull it. Like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take number um, three. Going to double check here. Going to take number three line come around and where this one went through this one we're going to go to the next one and we're going to go ahead and pull that out like that then we're going to flip this over and take number one oops I put number one through I need number three wrong one pull this back out 
Got to pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, here's number three. We're going to take number three and put this through the second one here. Like that. Now we're going to flip it and we're going to take number one. And number one is going to come over and go through this one right here. Notice these two that we did before, this one here and this one here, there's nothing through this one. So we're going to go through that. And so you got one coming out here, one going out there, there's nothing on this, and now you're going to loop it through. And that, and that creates a weave, the start of it. That's the hardest part, is getting the start. So what I want to do now is, is flip it back over. Like I say, the start's the hardest. We're going to take number two that we started with. We're going to go over the next available one, which is right next to it, over it. And then we're going to loop it through and pull it. And then we're going to flip it. And we're going to take number three again. And we're going to go over this one and through the next one. This way. And then we're going to flip the line. We're going to take number one. And number one is going to go over this one and through that one. So basically what we're doing is we're creating a weave all the way on up. So let me go ahead and cinch this down tight. I want everything tight up against the chain. So it takes a little bit of doing, but the start is the hardest. Once you get this start going, it's going to be real easy. Okay, you can see it's tight against the chain. Everything started nicely. Okay, gonna lay them all out again. And now, simply, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take number two. We're gonna take it where it comes out, go over the next one. We're gonna take number three. We're gonna go over this one and through the next one. You see how the, um, the tape helps out when you weave it through? And then we're going to flip it, and we're going to take number one, and we're going to go over this one and through the available one where there's nothing. There you go. We're going to flip it back over. We're going to take number two. We're going to take number two, go over this strand and through the next available one. And we're going to flip it. We're going to take number three again. Number three is going to go over this one and through the next available. We're going to flip it. We're going to take number one. Number one is going to go over this one and through the next available one that's not taken. See how it's making a weave all the way on up? We're going to flip these back over, and we're going to start with number two again. See how easy it is to see the two marks. We're going to look for the next available slot here. We're going to go through it and pull. We're going to flip it a little bit. We're going to take number three. Number three is going to go over this one and through the next available. going to flip it. We're going to take number one. And number one is going to go through the next available one right over here. See, number three and number two still come out sideways. It's going to go over this one and through the next available. And basically, you just kind of work it. Work it like that all the way up. Paying attention to what you're doing, of course. Now we're going to flip it back. We're going to start with number two again. Here's number two. So it's just down a little tight now. You want to keep them tight all the way through the whole process here. Okay, that looks, looks real nice and tight. Okay, we're going to lay them back out. Okay, 
Here's number two, number three, and number one. We're going to take number two. We're going to go over this next available one. We're going to pull it through. It's weave through. We're going to flip it a little bit. We're going to take number three. Number three is going to go over this one and through the next available. We're going to flip it a little bit. We're going to take number one. Number one is going to go over this one and through the next available. You can always see that next available when you have these two out sideways. There you go, it's coming along good. That's about, um, let's see what, where we're at. Don't need to do this, I'm doing it for the video. We're about six inches. I'm going to go just a little bit more up. Okay, let's flip this over. So, okay, get these organized. Number one is going to be under, number two is going to be over, number three. So once again, I flipped it, this is straight, we've got number two, number one, and number three. Always lay them out so you can see what you're doing. We're going to take number two, we're going, to, we're going to go over this one and through the next available slot. It's like this, right there, you see it's going through. Always look for that next available, we're going to flip it a little bit. Now we're going to take number three, number three is going to go over this and through the next available. Now we're going to flip it again a little bit, and we're going to take number one, and number one's going to go over this and through the next available. See these two go out sideways, so the next available one is right here. So these two come sideways, this is the next available, you're going to go through. Now some people like keeping it short like that, and that will hold your boat. I have a 10,500 pound boat, dry weight and probably about 15,000 pounds filled up. So I like going a little bit further before I feather in process. So I'm going to go just a little bit further. That's why I made these a little longer. Some people keep them short. I like going long. Um, the more meat the line grabs on in here, the less chance of it coming apart. And you can feather it uh, better. I'll show you the feathering, feathering process here in a, in a little bit. Let me just get these organized. Got number one, number three, and number two over here. So once again, we flip them over, and just make sure you got two here, one here, and three here. This is straight, and now you're going to start all over. You can take number two, put it through. Flip it a little bit, you're going to take number three, you're going to go over this one and through this one. Flip it a little bit, now we're going to take number one. And we're going to look for the, we're going to go over this one and through the next available. So once you find the next available, you're going to go ahead and Open it up and put this through. Make sure everything's nice and snug. Want it as tight as possible going down. So this looks nice and snug. So I'm going to start the feathering process. And what I'm going to do, this isn't going to look good, but it's going to work out really nice. Um, since this starts out thick here, if we were just to cut this off right here and burn it, this would be good for a regular anchor system. But since we're going to be going through a windlass, when, when the anchor chain pulls up uh, this way, once this knot over here hits the windlass, a lot of times it'll bind there and the rope won't feed through. So we've got to take this and feather it down so it's thinner. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this, this line right here, all of them, and we're going to pull out one, two, three, four. I'm going to pull out four strands right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold these strands. 
with some needle nose and I'm going to give it a cut. Get them out of the way. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and, and burn it with a lighter that's going to hold them together. Just let them melt together. This way it doesn't come apart. I'll take the scissors and make sure that's a nice tight little fit there. Let that dry up a little bit. Once it hardens, take it off. And later on I'll go back. But then now you can take your lighter. And you can do that. That cinches it down. So here's one. We're going to go ahead and unwind this all the way up to the top. We don't need that anymore, so we're going to go ahead and cut this off, like that. And you can just disregard that. So that, now this line here, you can see it's thinner. Um, we're going to do that to the next one over here. We're just going to peel off four. Here's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four. Make sure you have four. You can go ahead and hold that with the pliers again. This time I'll hold up my hand here and give it a good cut. What these uh, needle nose are doing, it's holding it. So when you put a flame on it, the flame doesn't hit the rest of the rope. Plus it keeps it together, so... When you, when you burn it, they stick together. That's about it. And any little phrase that you missed, when you give it a little cinch like this, they'll just burn together. Just make sure you got all of them so they don't unwind. Later on, you could go back and do that. Now we're going to go ahead and take this all the way on up. Now I know I'm, I'm showing you the whole process. I'm not really... Uh, Cutting, shutting off the tape and turning it back on. I just want to show you what kind of work is involved in it, just to regard this. It's a little bit of work, but you know, um, a lot of things on the boat you have to do yourself. If you don't, you have to pay somebody to do it. So I like doing everything myself. Uh, well, there's some things I like doing with somebody else, but doing this kind of stuff here, I like to do it myself so I don't have to pay somebody. So, cut this here. We're going to go ahead and burn this little part. This is pretty critical because what happens is if you don't do this, it unwinds really fast and you'll never recover. So make sure you're ready to go ahead and, and burn this tip a little bit when you get it up because it's non-forgiving this stuff. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Now you can do this with a soldering gun too. I'm just used to using a lighter. Um, lighter to me works works better every time and you don't have to press it down. Let's go ahead and thin this out. And we're going to go ahead and cut it off. Now we don't need that. So now what we have here is we have all three lines. We've got to organize again. Let's take number one over here. Let's take number three over here and number two over here. And flip them around so they're all good. So here, we're starting all over again now with a thinner rope. Uh, this is thinner than what we had before going down here. So now here's number, number two, number one, and number three.